Hello universe, it is Pokecon 14 back again for more Minecraft. What in the world is going on here? I don't know either, because it's been so long since I've said that. It's been so long I've turned into Batman. Which makes no sense for what's going on here, but... Oh my, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Does it not? It looks ever so slightly familiar. Four years ago, I last updated Route 220 for my Minecraft Center Region build. And today, today, my friends, today, you will see progress. I've seen your comments. I have read them, I have debated them, I have felt bad about making empty promises. Yes, I will do at least another update. Never happened. Well, today is the day. You just saw my last update. Click uh, over there or so. I don't know. Yeah, where the arrow landed, right over there. That's where it'll be. About some other stuff is coming, and some continuations of things I've done in the past. Well, I have two more updates for you as of right now. I hope you're pumped. So why don't we go ahead and get started, instead of filling in all the semantics, or whatever it is. I've extended on from uh, this little part over here, the water route, into, instead of filling in a bunch of water blocks, placing down a million and a half in a trillion trees! Oh my goodness. Welcome to Route 221. Now as I've done, I'm going to, oh, that's F3. Uh, d d what was it? F1. I'm going to show you, from a bird's eye view, what it's like. And then, you can compare it to the actual route. I'm just going to start off with this and then get down into a little bit of the detail. So, I've actually been playing through Platinum again. Didn't really go down to this area very much, except for the TM for x Scissor, which I found right around... Oops. Right around there. There-ish, I believe. The Route 221, you don't really have to go here very much. You can see the Pal Park over here, which I have not built. Uh, and there's a lot of trees and some trainers and some grass. And one fancy little house. So why don't we go ahead and take a look as I talk a little bit more about this. Oh man, I wish I had some help. I really do. I really do wish I had some help on some of this stuff. Because then... It would be so extraordinar extraordinarily easy to plop down a log where I want a tree and then go on to the other ones and another ones and have people follow back behind me and make my trees in this pattern. But nonetheless, that, uh, that cannot be done very sadly. Oh well, it's fine. I was able to count out all the trees and then get into some relaxing moments where I was able to listen and watch something and monotonously place down some trees, so you know what? All's well that ends well, it works. So you come surfing in over here. And you made it. You have a few paths you can go down. So let's take a look down our wild grass. Now, I also might have put way too many flowers in the flower patches. You guys may agree or disagree, but I don't know. It's one, one block in the actual Pokemon games is like four, five, six in Minecraft, so I don't know what to do. Maybe I overflowered the flower patches and made it look unrealistic, but that's about what it is. Uh, and now you can even pick some berries over here, which uh, there aren't great analogs to berries in Minecraft, and I'm so glad they put in the floral update a few years ago or a year or two ago, because it helped a lot. That's Maybe that's the reason why I was waiting so long to do this update. It's because I really needed, a, I needed the new Minecraft updates that I knew were coming out. For the berries to make it look better right quality over quantity you wait a long time to get something great uh yeah i'm just gonna call that like it is and keep going now there are a few items and a few trainers i couldn't really represent them down here but that's all it is nonetheless Ooh, what do we got here sign the pal park a place for new beginnings and of course that's what the sign says in the game so here we are let's go in I hope that looks good enough for you. And this is one of the first buildings when I really experienced the difference between 
um, Minecraft and Pokemon, how Pokemon, you can enter a building and get teleported to a new land where the building is whatever size you want. In Minecraft, no, it actually has to be the same size. You can see how it's maybe a little bit harder to represent a building of the Pal Park size in Minecraft and make it the same size. But this, I think, works pretty well. You got your PC over here, which I've decided to use with the diamond block and then a new aquamarine prism thingamabob, what's this called? Sea Lantern. Not even close. But hey, it lights up and it's an awesome computer screen now. I can just walk in here through the, oh. Hooray, making the doors blocked off because of my laziness of making the actual POW park. But either way, we can go out and see the catching show with all the people out here watching. Beautiful, brilliant, or you can just watch the sunset if the creator of the world is lazy. And that's about, that's about the POW park. Also, it annoys me that I couldn't put plants as big as, no, the plant. Dang it, I completely forgot about that. Or didn't realize my uh, cursor was that far along. But that's about as tall of a tree that I could get. Oh well. I didn't really want to make everything off the entire map here. I don't want to put trees on forever. What are, they aren't necessary. But they're they're here nonetheless. Now that's your first route. The wild Pokemon and not trainery route. So let's go back to the beginning. And what if you didn't have repels? Well, you'd go down this way. And you'd get to go through this other wild grass to find... Ooh, a house. In the real games, if you take a Pokemon of a very specific level every single day to the man in this house, you will get one of three items. Uh, it's a Macho Brace, Focus Band, I believe, or something else. I, uh, Focus Sash, ooh. Oh, or not even the Macho Brace. Wow, I'm 0 for 2. You've got to be kidding me. The Black Belt, Focus Sash, or Expert Belt. But this is the little house. And it's funny, these are a very similar house to the designs built in Sanjim Town, but like in the game similar, but I built them totally differently except to use a little, went back to look at those for a little inspiration, but I'll give you a little tour here. He's left his door open because people aren't smart or they're just lazy, I don't know. But you can kind of see what the interior looks like right here. And yeah, it's probably my best bet. I kind of forgot what it looked like myself, but I mean, let's see. Ooh, perfect time to get inside and snuggle up with a nice TV as we're here. As it starts raining, you can see all these windows, which I forgot if you had windows or not, but it, it looks good with a window. And I walked into Pokemon Platinum, went into this, uh, went into this house, turned on the TV, and that's what was playing. So I'm sticking with that. It's all natural, what you'd see here. I think it's, uh, it works well enough. So there's this house, and let's see a Sanjim house to compare. Now, I'm not sure which size it actually was supposed to be, but either way, it's different. Yeah, it's probably too big. Probably more like this. But, did I ever set a wool before? I might have changed the wool in these houses to the clay blocks, but I'm not sure. Nope. But, I know it's wool over in Twinleaf over there. Whee, where'd the arrow go? Those are wool. Times have changed. I use concrete instead of wool from building my ceilings. Wow, how crazy. And yeah, this is what the old houses look like. Let's go back over here. I also used a bow just in case a lot of animals kept trying to spawn and ruin my, uh... Wow. <laughs> that was violent. Ruined my perfectly peaceful landscape. Speaking of peaceful... But now we're back and we can run down the rest of this route. And if this tree looks different to you, it should. This is my design for a honey tree. And dang it, Minecraft, you do not represent Pokemon well because where are the yellow leaves? <sighs> oh well, we don't need them. Jungle leaves work pretty well and the acacia wood, or yeah, that's acacia wood, is a pretty good tree trunk. And then you get some off-screen area, you get a million trees. I should have counted how many trees there were, dang it. Like I counted the blocks, counting the trees, but... Maybe I will another time, maybe I won't. It's it's a lot. It took a lot of time. I can pretty much do 14 I forgot my rate of trees, but 14 trees in 2 or 3 minutes, something like that was a rate. And there's a lot of there's a lot more trees than that. Maybe it was like 10 or 12 in 2 or 3 minutes. Needless to say, it took a long time. But there you have it. There is route 221 and the Pal Park building. 
without the park. Maybe I'll do the park. Seems easier than Jubilife City. But, you know, you never know. We'll figure it out. But either way, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This long, long-awaited and long-requested return to a series that's been rather popular. And sometimes I could lie and say it's some series are long requested and long awaited no this one is very popular a lot of people said hey when are you gonna do go back to this this is really cool i'd even promised hey yeah i'll, I'll, I'll get to it I'll, it'll happen never got to it got really lazy but as some summer cooled down and got a little bit boring in times i decided you know let's build this up it might be kind of fun and now i can go back to making a few more videos again so there you have it Thank you all for watching, I hope you completely enjoyed. Stay tuned because this is not the very end of things I've built and planned to upload on the Minecraft uh, Sinnoh world. Uh, continue up all of our love for Pokemon and for Minecraft because Pokemon Platinum is the best game ever and Minecraft's up there too. And again, thank you all for watching. I will see you next time on Pokecon 14's channel. Have a great day! And bye bye